morning my dear students we are back with our science period in the last video we have discussed about uh, minerals and their types am i right they are mainly the two types of minerals that is metallic and non metallic we have also discussed about the examples what are the example of metallic and what are the example of non metallic minerals so what are the example of metallic minerals hematite bauxite pyrite kamenite and non metallic coal petroleum uranium limestone these are the example of non metallic mineral am i right in today's video in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, what are the uses of minerals what are the uses of rocks and mineral are you getting so the see now i have told you that what is meant by the ore what is meant by the ore the minerals which we get from metals that is called as an ore am i right and see these are nothing but ores hematite bauxite pyrite calamine okay now from hematite we get iron so what is the use of iron we can use the iron for making machines am i right we can use the iron for making machine then bauxite is um, from bauxite we get aluminium so where the aluminium is used aluminium is used for preparing the utensils are you getting to prepare the utensil pyrites it is used which minerals we get copper now where the copper is used copper is used for making wire are you getting calamine is used to make a zinc are you getting so there are some minerals which we get from which we get gold there are some precious minerals which we get that is uh, gold and silver they are really very precious am i right so the next is they are non metallic minerals so have you understood what are the uses of the core and mineral what are the uses of this mineral so these are the metallic mineral now we will turn to the non metallic mineral so what are the uses of non metallic mineral just we will see coal the first is coal how the coal is formed now see coal it is a valuable natural resource it is formed from the remains of buried um, the remains from the remains from remains of plants remains of plant buried inside the earth millions of year millions of year ago due to the high temperature and the pressure due to the high temperature and the pressure on the earth these remains of the plants form a coal these remains of the plants form a coal are you getting how the coal is formed now see due to the remains the plants 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 what after some years they may died am i right and the remains of the plants and the layer of the sand soil get get buried into millions and it takes the millions of year the layers are form on it am i right yes or no and this billion and that coal or that plants are converted into the fossil fuel or that uh, they are converted into the coal they are converted into the coal are you getting so like that the coal is formed now the next is petroleum this is also a valuable resource from what is the use how it is formed see like a plants animals near the sea that is fish buried once they died they buried under the sea yes or no and how they buried the layers are form of sand soil am i right and this takes a millions of year am i right the layer is form and after a millions of year after the millions of year the dead of the fish or the animals which are near the sea bed they convert into the fossil fuel and form a petrol product that is called as a 
petroleum that is called as a petroleum now what is the use of petroleum we use a petroleum product to form a lpg gas for the cooking material am i right cooking gas we use this petroleum are you getting so have you understood about coal and petroleum then next is uranium it is not a actually a mineral uranium is not a actually a mineral it is used to produce the energy it is used to produce energy this energy is also called as a nuclear energy this energy is also called as a nuclear energy now atomic power plants uses this uranium atomic power plant uses this uranium to produce nuclear energy to produce nuclear energy are you getting so these are the use uses of metal from rock these are the uses of metal from the rocks and we get fuel from the rock now the next is we get a gemstones now there are some minerals they are very hard there are some minerals they are very hard found in the form of crystal they are form form in the form of crystal for example diamond ruby yes these are some min uh, this these are some rocks they are called as a gemstone they these are called as a gemstone this is the useful they are also valuable the next uh, next use of the rocks and mineral is we get fertilizer from minerals we get fertilizer for example there are some minerals like sulfates nitrates are added as a fertilizer to the soil to increase the fertility of the soil to increase the fertility of the soil we use this some uh, minerals for example sulfate nitrate these are some minerals then next is minerals are important nutrient minerals are very important nutrient our body needs minerals like potassium calcium zinc and iron in a small quantity to remain healthy to remain healthy are you getting so these are the uses of mineral these are the uses of mineral are you getting me so now see there are two mcqs which are given in your test book just you have to go through it and take the correct answer for it the first is what is formed from the remains of the plant buried inside the earth millions of year ago petroleum coal or uranium yes answer is coal so take to the coal next we get aluminium from dash ore aluminium we get from bauxite so take to the bauxite yes i hope everyone has understood this point in the next